Good morning, everybody. Fresh and simple time. Last week we talked about apples. This week we're talking about something else that's seasonal this yes. time of year. Squash. Squash. I love squash. Do you love squash? I do. I haven't had it in a lot of different ways, but yeah. from what I've had, I really like. Yeah, it's kind of got that sweet and nutty flavor, right. and it's great for fall right now. So there's a few different kinds of squash available that a lot of people are familiar with this guy here. This is the butternut squash. Looks like a bell shape. And this one's going to kind of have that sweet potato-like texture mm -hmm. and flavor. You could actually cut this in half, throw it in the crock pot, and let it simmer all day, and it'd be perfectly roasted squash by the oh, end of the night. So that's one way you can cook that one. This is called butter cup. So if you like a really sweet kind of a squash, these two would even be sweeter than your butternut. Okay. So these are really great roasted up um, and you can put like a soup inside or use the puree for the soup. You also have the acorn squash, which we're gonna cook with. Okay. And that's the smaller squash. And usually when you cut this in half, a half is a serving for a person. Very low in calories, but really high in nutrition, fiber, vitamin A and C. So those are some good things about that. And then also we have this spaghetti infamous squash. spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. And the reason they call it spaghetti squash is once you cook it, which you can do in the microwave for about 12 to 15 minutes, um, turning it, like actually sideways after about four minutes okay. so that you're getting all of the pieces cooked. Right. But then you just, you know, take your fork and just go like that and it just shreds it into spaghetti-like pieces. And you can use it just like spaghetti. Like pasta. And you're only going to have 21 calories per half cup versus pasta is about 80 calories. So a quarter of the calories, a lot of more nutrition too. That's a, that's a good situation. It's also great with like a little browned butter with some garlic oh, yeah. and Parmesan cheese. Oh yeah. Yes. Delicious. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So now we're going to make something that's also very good, uh, wild rice chicken stuffed acorn squash. That sounds very it's kind of a mouthful, Autumn but very delicious. So what, it's very easy too. You can get it all done in about 30 minutes actually. Oh, so awesome. what you're first going to do actually is you're going to take that acorn squash, right. cut it in half, and then you're going to have a pan, fill it about you know an inch deep of water, mm -hmm. and turn these down, face down, cut side down, okay. and cook them at 400 for 30 minutes. And you want to be able just to be able to put your fork in it and it'll be nice and tender. Okay. So while that's cooking, right. you're going to work on the do filling. This other stuff. Yep. And so all you're going to do is take a little bit of olive oil. You can do a little butter if you want to, a tablespoon of each, and some chicken, about a cup of chicken, and cook that up. So we've already done that part. Yep. And then that's we're going to really take good. about two cups of vegetables. We've got mushrooms, celery, onions, and red bell peppers. And this is not only going to give all of that great nutrition, but also some good crunch and a lot of good color. A lot of good color so, there. And we always eat with our eyes. So, of course, you want to make sure that everything's really colorful. So, you're going to basically cook that down. And that just takes a few minutes because you're just going to basically soften up all of the vegetables. Once you get those all cooked, you're going to add about two cups of liquid. So, I got a cup and a quarter of broth, chicken okay. broth that's no salt added, and also about three quarters of a cup of water. So, you're going to add mixed together just mixed together. You're going to add that in, and then you're going to add some long grain and wild rice mixture. So it's just a pre-boxed uh, mix that you just buy. Add that whole thing in, and then you would add in. Now, I never use the whole seasoning packet because it does add a lot of sodium. Uh -huh. So what I do is just do half. Okay. And it still is going to have great flavor because, you know, when you cook everything together, it automatically right. just has great flavor. There's so much other stuff in yes. there, too. Yes, and you don't need all the excess salt. So you're just going to basically mix that all together, put a lid on it, let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Now, all that's happening while that's cooking. Simultaneous. Yes, exactly. So let that cook. And then what you're going to do, once you've got it done, got that's it all it. cooked okay. up, yep, you're going to just take your acorn squash, which I'll have you do, and you're just going to fill it. Right, it has this nice bowl already ready for this you. Is so perfect. And then mixed a little bit of panko breadcrumbs mm -hmm. with a little bit of butter, just a little bit. Okay. And you're gonna put that over the top, pop it in the pop the whole thing in the oven now for about 25 minutes. Okay. Warm it up. Comes out crisp just it up. like that. that yes. Looks really tasty. And you've got a great fall meal. Everybody gets a half of an acorn squash, and it's just something that's not only good for you, but has really great flavor. Awesome. Some great ideas, Jen. Thank you very much. Another fall idea. You're just full of these fall ideas. Of course. Love yeah. that. <laughs> great time of year to do this. If you want more information on how to utilize squash this season, go to our website, kaaltv.com, and click on Fresh and Simple.